new feature time. Love a new feature on LinkedIn. And this one is all about how you post. So you're on the homepage of LinkedIn, you click start a post and you're going to post an update. But the new feature is that you can now change your voice. So rather than just posting as you personally, if you manage a company page, you can change your voice to your company. So I can choose Worldwide Social Marketing. I can choose LinkedIn Local Perth. I can choose the Connection Couch. So if I click here, I can now do my post and it will drop into the home feed as it would normally from a company page perspective, um, but we're doing it right from the home feed. So it's much easier to get to. Just saves you clicking either down here where your pages are or in the me menu under manage, go there and post. So it's just, it's just a, yeah, a simpler process. So I'd love to know, do you have a company page firstly? Do you already post content on your company page? And seeing this new feature, will you start using your company page more often? Will you post content there? Thanks for, thanks for watching and look out for more tips in the feed. I spoke about what's new on LinkedIn with the post voice, being able to change it to your company page. Now here's part two of that. So here's a post I've shared from the home page where I've changed the voice to the connection couch, which is one of the pages I manage. We've done a native video, which is shared as a post. And now it's in the feed. I can see it in front of me. And now this is the cool part. If I like it or react or comment, I'm instantly commenting as me personally, because I'm on my home feed, because I'm not on my company page. Now this, this is great. Because now I can say um, I can say something from my perspective, which is now pushing this content to my audience. And of course, people have a much bigger audience than a company page has followers in general, particularly if we're in small business. So this is a game changer. This is an, a great way to increase your visibility of your company page. So start posting to your company page on the home page of LinkedIn, and then comment as yourself. So I can tag Reg and talk about him here, bring him into the conversation and expose this post to my network. So you can see here, this company page has 178 followers, not many. It's been around for a short while. Um, we haven't really done a lot to grow this page though. And it is difficult to get to increase your paid audience. But my network is nearly 13,000 13, followers. So if I post here, that's the potential and that will give more exposure to the page. So I'm going to be doing a bit of testing to see how this goes, but um, I recommend you put some more effort now into posting on your company page, but engaging with it personally and doing it this way because this is super simple. It's in your home feed, no brainer. So thanks for watching this quick video. I look forward to um, seeing your post in my, pay in my feed from your company page because you've engaged with it personally. Welcome to part three of the new company page update for LinkedIn. Now this one is about how you share content, how you curate content to your company page. This has always been really finicky and probably the biggest um, hurdle. So if I wanted to share a post by Trevor, I would normally have to go to the three dots, copy link to post, again go to my company page, share the update, um, add a bit of text and off you go, a bit clunky. Now here's the game changer. So if I wanna share this video by Trevor, I click the share, and what it allows you to do is change your voice to your company page. Here we go. And so now I'm sharing the update on my company page. Um, game changer, nice and easy to curate content from your network. So you can pick content from people, from, co or from companies or schools. But it's good practice when you're sharing something, don't just share it with a, with a few hashtags, share it with some context. How does this mean something to your network? Ask a question, seek engagement, at mention someone. So the reason you would at mention Trevor is to firstly give him credit, even though it's here, and almost invite him to the conversation so he knows I'm talking about him. And you do that with companies and schools as well. And then of course, finally, you'd end with hashtags. Three is the perfect number um, that LinkedIn recommend. And my strategy for that is a general hashtag. So say hashtag networking, a specific hashtag. So say hashtag Perth Business Networking and then a unique hashtag, and this might be your own brand, so I would use LinkedIn Demystifier or something like that to make it so people can follow my content and find it easily.
So that's my tips with this new feature. Um, watch the other two videos to see what else you can do with this new update. Um, but it's really exciting to be able to share content very easily to your company page. Of course, you, you do need to have a company page and you do need to, if you work for a larger organization, you need admin rights to your page. Now, if you're a solopreneur business, um, I often get asked this question, should I have a company page? Absolutely, you should. Now, you may not share a lot of content to it because you've got to build an audience there. But if you've got a business that's got a network um, of followers, um, this is d definitely useful. But everybody in business should have a page. And if you're not sure why, book a session with me and I'll explain exactly the benefits. Um, but content is more for if you've got a following already or if you've got multiple people in your business and you want to raise the visibility of your brand. So thanks for watching and look out for more tips.